Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and right next to the subscribe button, hit the bell button so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. Today's video is something that I love doing. It is what I eat in a day. And I finally got it down to like a good, I guess, routine. I know what I like to eat like for breakfast. I know certain things that I like to eat for lunch. For me, for example, like sometimes lunch is where I struggle with figuring out what to eat because it also depends on what I've had for breakfast. I don't know. But anyways, so yeah, my mornings kind of switch up depending on what we have. But we kind of have like everything right now. Um, so it shouldn't be that hard to figure things out like today, especially perfect for this video. So I'm going to start off with pouring myself a huge, um, like in my tumbler of water, my Starbucks tumbler. I'm going to fill it up with water. So I'm starting the day off with enough water before I go in and have my coffee after breakfast. So I love to do that because I just, I can't drink coffee first thing in the morning. I just feel like I need to have some other stuff in my system before I do that. So yeah. I'm gonna go pour myself some water and then we can start cooking breakfast. Also, I'm not on a diet or anything, but I do love to find different meals that I know are you know a little bit of a healthier option for me there are days though where i go out to eat and i just kind of like i'm not really too strict or mindful of that um and that's okay like to just have like days like that um not just always worrying about everything i eat i'm not like like i said i'm not restricting myself i'm not on a diet and for dinner usually my mom makes dinner unless i'm working or i just i'm going out that night or something but if she is cooking something i can just always like i always add like broccoli um vegetables to add to it so yeah i'm not on a diet or anything but i just like to find things that work for me and make me feel pretty good and that i enjoy eating so yeah i just wanted to add that really quickly so yeah i'm gonna go and start making my scrambled eggs <laughs> Breakfast is officially ready. It is just scrambled eggs, avocado, mini baby um, tater tots, and sprinkled some cheese on it. And it is so good. Like I said, it makes me like pretty satisfied up until lunchtime because I'm not like a giant snacker. So it usually holds me over pretty well. And you know, it's a realistic, nice, great breakfast, and I love it so much. So I hope you guys find inspiration from this because it is so good you definitely should try some variation of this because it is bomb and the everything but the bagel seasoning just makes it 10 times better now on to my favorite part of my morning after i wash my dishes and everything and i've finished my water i make myself my coffee with my noon espresso so if you're new here i got this for christmas it was in my what i got for christmas video i actually did a whole unboxing and everything for the nespresso so if you're interested in the nespresso you can go watch that video but i 11 out of 10 recommend it is so amazing and i haven't spent a single dollar on coffee outside of here because whenever i did go to get coffee at starbucks i had like gift cards so from christmas anyways besides the fact i'm trying to figure out which one i want today because i have some coffee pods i have like the caramel one um which i had yesterday i don't know which one i want and i use these double walled clear mugs i use this when i'm making like a latte or something that's not as um big as the coffee pods because all of the coffee pods are 7.7 .7 fluid ounces and if i'm adding milk and stuff it like overflows so yeah because when you pour the coffee it also comes with like a kind of like a little foam as well so for my coffees i usually use a different mug but i think today i want like a latte so i might use the espresso pod if i can find it 
There it is, the purple one. This is my favorite espresso pod. It is the Altissia one, and it is so good. You can always do like two shots if you want a little bit more because it is really small, like a really tiny amount. So I usually do that. My second favorite as far as like double espresso, because there's an actual double espresso pod too. So I don't know. This one is really bomb too. It's called Bianco Leggero. I'm going to go ahead and make this and figure out exactly which one I want. Um, I decided on using the Altissio ones today, and I just used my Planet Oat oat milk pour it in my frother and i really love the frother because you can make hot and then you can also do cold if you wanted like an ice drink but i usually make hot ones ryan little <laughs> This is the finished look. It's so good. It smells delicious and I can't wait to go relax and have it now. I love my mornings when I have my coffee and I can just go relax on my computer. But I just love it. And I love this glass um, double walled cup because it really keeps it warm for so long. Whenever I use my other mugs and I used to make my other coffee, um, I didn't have the double walled and it would get cold fast and this really really keeps it warm So I definitely recommend this, this is from Amazon But you can get it at different places. I'm sure. Okay, let's do a little taste test Also, it's super bright in front of me because my computer's on also This is a heating pad because my back hurts yesterday. We went to sky zone which is like the trampoline um, place and I think when I was flipping a lot um, my back just hurt from it so I'm just doing a little bit of heat on it and I'm gonna have my coffee oh this one is really good it just tastes like such good pure coffee like the perfect coffee flavor it's not super like bitter it's strong but I don't know it's just like a really really good smooth flavor and I really like it and I only put like a tiny little spoon of sugar um, so it's not like it's super sweet or anything but it's really good that is literally amazing now I can just relax and it is 11 o'clock so this is just to give you guys kind of like a time frame of when I have like my coffee before I have lunch later I'll usually have lunch around one something two ish just because today I work so probably will eat dinner not at the usual time so yeah just to give you guys a little bit of a time for you. Filled my tumbler with some more water because a goal of mine is to drink a lot of water every day and really try to remember to um, because water intake is very important. So I'm gonna drink some of this right now and I think I'm gonna have a little snack. I know I said I usually don't really like to snack and everything, but I do have work tonight. So like I said, I'm not going to be eating dinner till later. So it's 1.30 right now. If I were to eat my lunch right now, it's not going to hold me over and I'm going to have to end up eating a snack later on maybe and I really can't. So I'm actually going to have one of these granola bars. It's a Quaker chewy um, chocolate chip granola bar. So I'm just going to have this and drink my water. Maybe I'll have also a banana and then I might eat lunch at around 3. I think 3 is like the perfect time because I have to leave here at around like 4.40. So that'll be perfect and it's not like a crazy like junk food type of snack anyways. So I'm just trying to open this box but this is just what I'm going to have. And I think for lunch today I'm going to make some cauliflower rice and some broccoli. Because it's actually really good and the cauliflower rice is almost done. So I'm just going to finish it. I also really love these. We haven't had these in so long, so I'm going to take advantage of it and eat them while they're still here. Today is going to be some riced cauliflower, and then I'm going to make some steamed broccoli to go along with it. Super simple, pretty healthy. Um, 
but it tastes really good that's what i love to do when i'm trying to eat healthier i just like to find things that i like so that's like literally just so so important because it makes no sense to eat super super healthy but you're like forcing yourself to eat it so i like to find things that i like and you know i switch it up each day but i really really like this one and i want to finish the cauliflower because it's almost done look of lunch today super simple literally so simple but it tastes really good and it should be good enough to hold me until i have dinner tonight the next day i didn't end off the video yesterday but i did show you guys what i ate for dinner i had work so that's why i wasn't home eating dinner last night but it basically was orzo which is similar to like rice with grilled chicken spinach and this like feta cheese um kind of like melted all together it's really good it didn't finish all of it um but it was really really good and i was like super hungry so it was perfect um and i didn't have anything for dessert so yeah that's basically what i eat in a day i think soon maybe like in a month or a couple of weeks like whenever i decide to i want to film like what i eat in a week because i feel like that'll be kind of interesting to see exactly what i'm eating and if i'm spending money outside like how much i'm spending on food um or like outside meals so i think that'll be an interesting and fun video to do to give you like more of a perspective on like the full week where i'm like if i'm not home so i think i might do that coming up down the line so make sure you're subscribed give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the bell button that's right next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more of my uploads i start school soon so i'm really excited to get back into like the college days of my life and just being kind of like structured yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys all in my next one Learn, I like